So check this beast out. Oh hi Tashi. It's a UH09. Uh, serial number there I guess. Uh, I did some googling on it and had a look on the line and I'm guessing it's somewhere in the 1970 mark. So pretty old now but hopefully it's still got a little bit of life left in it. Uh, this machine was just purchased by a bloke that's just bought a block of land above our property right up top of the hill uh, he wants to do a bit of clearing around it and tidy the block up a bit so he bought this machine i think he was just above scrap price the uh truck driver delivered it the other day as you can see he had a bit of trouble getting it off the truck uh, that happened before we arrived to give him a hand I think he just wasn't familiar with the machine. Uh, apparently when you go to track four with both levers, it doesn't actually put power to both sides. It put pretty much just put it to one side, so it swung around on him, and next thing you knew, it was sort of slipped off the side. It was no big deal, but it was low on hydraulic, so he had trouble getting it back off. We ended up putting some more hydraulic oil in there just to get it to move again. Once we've got it moved, uh, we got it down off the truck, but it was actually got a bit wedged in between the ramps. This, this grouse, I took a lot of the weight out, shear and cut the bolts off. It's probably loose anyway, but once it's on the ground, we end up just driving the truck forward and away from the machine. And then the next challenge was actually getting it from where we got it off just there up over this little rise here just to park it here until the owner gets here to move it but just coming up over that rise there this sprocket was doing a lot of clanging and banging as it was slipping as you can see it didn't like that so i'm guessing if the sprocket was at the back it probably wouldn't be as bad being at the front there you're trying to push the the tracks and pull the top I mean, they obviously loaded it onto the truck okay with the sprockets at the back. So, I'll just do a bit of a walk around on the machine. Uh, I did just notice that, and I don't think that spring is supposed to be on that angle. I reckon there's something broken in there. Who knows, it's full of dirt. Last few years of its life, I think it was just used for moving scrap metal around at a small yard. Obviously put some grease in there. Looks like it has got tension on the track. Pretty basic inside these ones. I know there's a little fan there. That's not the original seat. What are your controls? Uh, there's a little bit of a dash up there. Little hand throttle, not much electronics on it. And check out the final drives. Most modern machines are all built into the side, but this one here has actually got sort of external hydraulic motors for the track gear. I don't know what's inside this cover. I don't know if it's gears coming from here or is it a chain? I'm not quite sure on that one. I'll... You wouldn't think it'd be a chain. You wouldn't want that to break, would you? You'd lose all drive. 
This one's been welded by the looks of it. Yeah, it makes them look old when they have this sort of gear on them. Looks alright around the uh, swing gear, doesn't it? Nice and dry. Only a little leak from that cylinder, the other ones look pretty good. It's got a fixed thumb on it. Something someone's only made up. Looks like they've cut the teeth off and welded a bar on. Suppose they're only moving scrap metal around. This sprocket's actually not bad. Must have been replaced at some stage. I don't know what's involved in replacing a sprocket like this because most most machines, the track frame frame finishes there, and you can just unbolt the sprocket easy. But this one's got a, like a carrier bearing on it. These top rollers weren't turning, so they just got flats on them now. Even if, if you did get them to turn, they'd only do one turn and then stop on the flat again, wouldn't they? This one is pretty loose. Batteries in there. Nice chamfer on the idler there, wearing away. actually run an Isuzu engine. Isuzu. I'm assuming it's all original. Looks like there's someone's and added some new pipe work for the ra radiator. The motor did run quite nice. It sounded good actually. Don't know if the air filter's blocked or bad hose but uh, that's a bit sucked in there. Might need a bit of attention. Whenever you move the controls on it, it did load the motor up a lot, which could be an hydraulic pump issue, but so long as it, long as it moves, I guess. Looks okay in this slough area. Look at that, Kawasaki. Kawasaki Heavy Industries. It'd be interesting to know who the original owner was and what sort of work it did with it, but I could probably find out. So I was interested to know the history of machines and where they did their time. So hopefully it's got enough life left in it to do what he wants to do with it. See if I can get some uh, video footage of it. He has got a fair uh, hike to get up to his property up this road here. So if it actually makes it up there, then he might do some work with it. Thanks for watching.